in this video i'll be talking about breastfeeding guys breastfeeding is so painful that you will hate your baby you will hate your baby you'll stop breastfeeding your baby and opt for formula you must be patient and you must be ready for the pain welcome to my youtube channel well this was supposed to be a chit chat get ready with me where we talk about all things milk supply um breastfeeding where we talk about how to get rid of your nipple cracks quickly but also my girl has woke up before i even started so i'm going to continue with my makeup off camera as you guys can see i'm carrying on my back so i'm going to continue um with my makeup off camera and i'll get back and give you all the tips and tricks of how to deal with breastfeeding thank you hi guys so i'm going to try again let's hope everything works out this time so i've done my brows i'm just going to blend them in and then continue with everything else guys in this video i'll be talking about breastfeeding guys breastfeeding is so painful that you will hate your baby you will hate your baby you'll stop breastfeeding your baby and opt for formula you must be patient and you must be ready for the pain. Hold on. Also, guys, please advise on how you guys clean your brushes. Yo, sorry. Please advise on how you guys clean your brushes. I have a whole lot of brushes in here that they are dirty. Someone told me about the alcohol that you buy at the skin. I think it's 99% alcohol or something. And then I can use it. So I'm going to try that out. But if you have something better, please let me know and I'll try it. Also, guys, I'm so skeptical about using my new brushes. They're so clean and smell so good. But I'm going to use them anyway. I'm almost done, guys, and I'm going to put it down and then continue with the video. Sorry I didn't take you with me when I did my whole face. So I'm going to now put my last thing. This lipstick. It's from Maybelline. It's still new. So let me see if it does the trick. Hmm. Guys, invite me out. I can't look like this and stay home. Invite me somewhere anyway. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, one last thing. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Basitsana, well known for Basi. And we try again. 
So in this video, I'll be talking about breastfeeding, the pros and cons about it, and my experience. I'm having something to drink. It's not alcohol, guys. Don't come for me. So I was asked to breastfeed at, well, my baby was born at quarter to seven in the in the morning. And um, I was asked to breastfeed at 7 o'clock until half past 7 for 30 minutes. Everything went well for that 30 minutes. And during the day, everything went well with my baby until she was admitted at 10 o'clock in the evening. So yes, she was admitted and she was taken into neonatal ICU. Where I had to leave milk because I wanted my baby to be fed breast milk only. I wanted to exclusively breastfeed my baby. Hence, I had to express and pump breast milk. So what had happened was, what had happened was, um, nothing was coming out. I tried expressing and I tried all these kind of things and nothing came out. But when I put my baby on my boobie and she latched, something came out. So it meant that I did have breast milk. It was... It wasn't enough for me to express or to pump. Okay, the night went and I continued visiting her in neonatal ICU during her feeding times to feed her. But the problem came when I had to come back home. So this is what happened. I signed a consent that yes, they can give my baby um, formula until I bring her breast milk. So from then until from the Saturday morning, until the Sunday, I was at the hospital. So I stayed at the hospital for three days. I continued feeding her from my breast. So on Sunday afternoon, I was discharged. I came back home. I tried pumping. Nothing came out. I was told that I must continue to pump so that the demand becomes higher and my body tells my breast to produce more milk. So that's what I did. I continued to pump even though nothing came out. I was advised to drink um, Stony. It didn't work for me. Trust me, I won't lie. It didn't work. And then I was told to buy apple juice. I bought that. It also didn't work. Um, recently, someone told me that you can also drink Fanta. So I'm not sure about Fanta Orange. But yes, you can try it and it might work for you. Also, um, I spoke to my guy and he said he'll prescribe me pills to produce milk but the problem with the pills is that once your milk starts your milk supply starts being too much you must stop the pills so the monday i went to my guy he prescribed me the pills and yes it, it my milk supply increased actually it increased drastically to a point where leaking i started leaking and the pumping was going good for my baby. So yes, everything went well with the, with the pumping and the him giving me pills. So I think the pills are... Oh no, I thought someone was knocking. So I think the pills are better. But these are things that you can continue to try for yourself that might work for you to increase your milk supply. You can drink Stony. It might help you. You can drink apple juice. You can um, eat peanut butter. I advise you to start all these things before you give birth. Like two weeks before you give birth. When you're 38 weeks, you can start the process of drinking all these things and prepping your breasts and your, your body that you're going to be breastfeeding. And you must also be prepared because it comes with pain. Breastfeeding comes with so much pain that nothing can help you well at least i can say that nothing helped me so yes you can try eating peanut butter you can continue to ask your ob guy need to prescribe you pills which has worked for me so those are things that you can try to increase your milk supply however breastfeeding like i mentioned it comes with pain it comes with nipple cracks it comes with a bit of bleeding your skin is peeling off so it comes with a lot of things that um you must be patient um you must be patient for because if you're not patient with breastfeeding the first few weeks 
trust me, you're going to hate your baby. You're going to stop breastfeeding. Excuse me. And you're going to opt for formula, which I don't think is a good idea, especially for a baby who's still new on this world. They're still struggling with a colleague. They're still struggling with gas. In um, Introducing formula to them will be a drastic move. You must be prepared also for what comes with formula comes with constipation, more gas, and everything else, and the likes. So, what helped me with the nipple cracks um, is this nipple cream. This nipple cream is what helped me with the uh, with my nipple cracks. However, these are things that I tried that um, people recommended that might that was supposed to help me in my process, but they didn't. Um, I tried Vaseline, the Blue Seal. I tried Baby Bum Cream, the Benet and the Bepanthen. I tried them. They didn't work for me. It was still painful, guys. It was still painful. I also tried the Benet Nipple Cream. It didn't help me. So my advice to new moms or to pregnant women is that please be patient. Breastfeeding is painful. Milk can come out out after weeks milk can come out after days some are lucky that their milk supply is at its peak just after they give birth that was that's unfortunate because it didn't happen with me so yes just be patient that's my only advice and this is what people don't prepare us for they will tell you to be prepared for the labor pains and the delivery but trust me I had a better experience and I'll give you guys a story time on what happened with my labor and delivery story. But no one prepared me for the pain that comes with breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is painful. Like I mentioned, you will hate your baby. You will hate breastfeeding itself. You will stop it the same time and opt for formula. But please, if you are still pregnant, prepare your body, massage your breasts, continue to drink apple juice. Um, mm, Continue to collect, collect your cholesterol, if that's the correct word. It is advised to do that, but I didn't. Maybe that's why I struggled. Massage your breasts with oils. Um, prepare your boobies, man, for the pain. And pre mentally prepare yourself that it is going to be painful. So that you can have a better relationship with your baby. Because these are some of the things that um, trigger postpartum depression. Because... You're going to feel guilty as a mom that you hate breastfeeding so much, but now your baby also needs you. And this is a way of bonding as well with your with your newborn. So please do prepare yourself mentally. That's the best advice that I can give you, that you need to prepare yourself mentally for the pain that comes with breastfeeding. Otherwise, after a while, it is enjoyable. You do get to bond with your baby. It is nice. Um, yes, so hang in there, man. It's doable. Hang in there if you're a new mom. Do prepare yourself if you are a first time mom. Prepare yourself mentally. You really do need it. Oh, my last advice is for you to start eating oats for breakfast from 38 weeks. That also works for milk supply. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. I'm sorry about the epic fail of trying to do my makeup on camera. I still don't have a tripod, so my my shooting area was a bit messy and I needed to start afresh. My baby also woke up, so it was a whole lot of struggle. So hence, I opted to come here and share with you guys while sitting down and my makeup is done. However, I do look cute. Shout out. Um, please do click the subscribe button, comment down below, like the video, also share the video so that other new moms or pregnant women can come and watch the video. They might get few tips and tricks as to how to tackle breastfeeding. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.